In a significant development, India has test-fired a new version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile with new indigenous technologies including the control system. The new BrahMos Block 4 extended range version has a range of 800 km, and it follows a new optimal trajectory set for better performance, and all new technological developments were successfully proven during today's test. The DRDO has started the procurement of various subsystems for testing the power takeoff shaft for the AMCA 5.5 generation fighter jet. The power takeoff shaft is a critical component, as it acts as a mechanical link between the engine and aircraft mounted accessory drive. DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment had already developed power takeoff shaft for the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft and the technology was transferred and productionized through two Indian manufacturers. Larsen and Tubro Limited has been selected as the L1 bidder for the development fabrication manufacturing assembly integration and supply of the Prale mobile launcher system. India had successfully tested the 500 km Prale new generation tactical missile twice in December 2021, that can defeat enemy interceptor missiles and can change its path after covering a certain range. Larsen and Tubro Limited has been selected as the L1 bidder for the DRDO Future Infantry Combat Vehicle Program. The Indian Army aims to procure 1,750 FICVs worth around 60,000 crore rupees to replace the current PMP-2 infantry combat vehicles. Key officials of DRDO gave presentations to the Defence Ministry and Army in 2021, to convince them about their capabilities to develop such a platform indigenously. DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has the core competency in developing the required technology, and the private sector firm Lawson and Tubro Limited will be the production agency. The DRDO and Larsen and Tubro are also working on the light tank program, and the first prototype will be unveiled in early 2023. The DRDO has started the development of an autonomous underwater vehicle, which can also work as swarming autonomous underwater vehicles. It will have an endurance of 6 hours, and will carry a payload of sonar and other instruments. They are capable of detection and neutralizing underwater threats, and will be both man-portable and launched from a ship. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has announced, that it will be taking part in the tenders issued for air defense guns, and will compete in the open tendering process along with the private sector. The technical runs have been completed, and a decision on price bids for the Air Force tenders is awaited. The tenders by both Army and the Air Force are for around 200 anti-aircraft guns each, that will have electronic equipment radar systems. Tata Motors has started manufacturing pre-production of the wheeled armored platform, which has been customized as per requirements of the paramilitary forces with 7.62mm machine gun, that will soon be delivered to start user trials. The WAP has been offered in six variants to the Indian Army, and it was expected that the 30mm cannon and 105mm light gun variant might find their place in the Indian Army, but the Army is still carrying out extensive user trials. The final planning conference for Milan 2022 biennial multilateral exercise was held yesterday in New Delhi in a hybrid format, in which participants attended both virtually as well as physically. This 2022 edition of Milan exercise is expected to be the largest, with the participation of navies from more than 45 countries.